A great body equals a perfect diet, right? Wrong. But with the holidays approaching, this is even more important to know, and I'm going to show you how to enjoy the foods that you love without feeling like you're screwing everything up or without cutting calories leading up to the holidays. What's cool is that all of these apply to situations beyond just celebrating holidays, like birthday parties, summer parties, family events, date nights, and so many more. Number one, the first thing that you need to do is to start resistance training. Now, if you're watching my channel, you probably already are, but the best way to deal with any excess calories that are going to be coming into your body is to be trying to add lean tissue to your body. Building muscle will add lean mass, which requires more calories, and those additional calories can go towards that muscle growth. Building muscle is the best way to speed up your metabolism and use those excess calories that could be coming in during the holidays. Number two, always have a drink. Having a drink allows you to feel like you're socializing and consuming something while spending time with your friends and family around the holidays. And on top of that, it's gonna help fill you up. And what's gonna help you the most is if it's something that's carbonated. Think about something like a seltzer water water or a club soda or honestly at a time like this when you're trying to reduce calories I would pick something like your favorite diet soda normally I don't encourage people to be drinking these things all the time but for a short time when you're trying to reduce the amount of calories overall that you're taking in a diet soda is a great option to help you to feel like you can enjoy consuming something along with your friends and family at a time like a holiday party but even more importantly is I want you to focus on using warm liquids coffee or more importantly tea those are gonna be incredibly powerful because the warm liquid in particular is gonna help Help you feel more satiated and less likely to overeat. Number three is use intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting can be incredibly powerful, especially when you're anticipating a large meal that's coming up where you know there's gonna be tons of different foods that you wanna be able to try. Even something as simple as just skipping breakfast that morning can do wonders for freeing up calories that then you can use in the later portion of the day. It's highly unlikely that you're gonna be able to pound more than 2,000 calories into your body, even with higher calorie dense foods during a holiday party. Remember, finding success with this is far more than just looking at food and calories. It's more important to look at your psychology and how you approach food. And my last three strategies are gonna give you Jedi-level mind tricks that most people end up paying money for. All right, number four, I want you to focus on eating protein and veggies first. Protein is incredibly satiating, and of course the fiber in the vegetables is gonna be incredibly satiating as well. Start with those, have a good portion of those on your plate, eat through those, then decide which carbohydrate that you really want to enjoy that you wanna move on to next. And because of the protein, you're gonna be able to eat far less of whatever tasty carbohydrate there is because you boosted your satiety with protein and fiber first. All right, number five, I want you to focus on picking your favorite holiday foods over the ones that you don't care that much about. We all know there's those foods that are there just because it's the holidays and you end up grabbing and putting on your plate but it's really not that important to you. There's very specific foods that I can think of that are most important to me and I definitely want to have. Focus on eating those and avoid the ones that don't really mean that much to you. All right, number six, I want you to be the one to bring a healthy dish and make it something that's protein-based or veggie-based or fruit-based, something that's gonna have fiber and protein to help satiate you. And you can even make it something like a lean protein. That way, if you get really hungry, you always know there's something that you can go to that's a lower calorie option that's gonna help fill you up. And number seven, encourage your friends and family to go for a walk after the meal. This is incredibly important to take the focus off the food and onto the friends and family and the people that you are with. On top of that, now you're not gonna be sitting around looking for more things to eat. You're gonna be having a little bit more additional activity. It's gonna help burn a few of those calories. And finally, it's gonna help improve your digestion. But now, the mind tricks that you're waiting for. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Number eight, eat slowly and enjoy the people that you're eating with. Don't just think about the next bite. Yes, it tastes good and you're excited about the next one, but focus on taking a bite and enjoying it slowly while you get to converse with the people that you care about and love. All right, number nine, do not diet pre-holidays. I don't want you cutting calories leading up to the holidays. This is going to mentally put you into a state of scarcity and make you more likely to overconsume when you finally have all this food that's readily available and in abundant supply. This will also affect you physically as well because it's going to slow down your metabolism as your body's trying to adjust and conserve energy and your leptin and ghrelin hormones are going to be out of whack as well and they're going to tell you you're a little more hungry than you probably actually are. Number 10, remember health is more than just physical. It's mental as well. Your physical health, mental health, and spiritual health all contribute towards you being a healthy overall individual. My family, we want to focus on always being grateful for the abundance that we have and to be able to sit back, relax, and not have anxiety and fear over what you're consuming is an incredibly healthy way to be able to enjoy 
enjoy time with your friends and family with the foods that you love. Family is one of my top priorities and therefore, time is very hard to come by. So how on earth do you stay consistent with your workouts during the holidays? But this video over here will give you exactly how to do that. And the best part is it only takes five minutes. And as always, be intentional, bring the intensity, and I'll see you over there on the next video.